it was like all good until it wasn't all good. Look, look at my nail. Fuck. Fuck. All right, y'all didn't come here for that. You came here for Sugar and Spice by Glaminatrix Cosmetics. All right, on to the video. Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So today I have three looks for you with the Glaminatrix Sugar and Spice palette. So this palette, in fact, was not a pre-order from Glaminatrix. And in fact, I was asleep. I think I was taking a nap. You know, they're a based out of Australia and I totally missed the mark <laughs> when it came to ordering it. So I got on the pre-order and I got it like pretty much as I would have any other palette. Basically, you couldn't even tell there was a pre-order. Got it right away. Two weeks shipping time, but it comes from Australia. You know, it, it is what it is. But this is what it looks like, and it's such a gorgeous, it really is sugar and spice. And I think the color story is really unique, and you know the shadows, they did not come to play. Now, let me go ahead and introduce myself before I'm carried away. I'm already carried away. I'm really bummed about my nails because, you know, you know how it's like you're looking at your nails, you're good. And I broke this nail the other day, yesterday, matter of fact, working on my boat. I was like, oh, you owe me a nail. And these are my nails. And then today, so now I really didn't plan on getting my nails done for like another week. And now I got to because I'm out here like jagged, about to cut somebody, hair all caught in my nails too much. I was supposed to be introducing myself. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're only put good, then welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctor in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. And please just call me Ash or Ashley and eyeshadow. It's my jam. It's my jam. Yes, I love me some eyeshadow. Okay, so let's jump into this Glaminatrix Sugar and Spice Palette. So a few things about the Sugar and Spice Palette. I just checked. It is still in stock. And that's what I love sometimes about indie brands that reinvest in their business. You know, because a lot of times when you used to purchase from Glaminatrix, everything was pre-order and even the restocks were a pre-order and it made things waiting. It made it hard. Like that one palette. I can't think of the name, but into, not into the night, but Ooh, it took a long time, okay? It was like a half a year pre-order. But I'm still rocking with Glaminatrix and she has done better. That's called reinvesting into your business because now she is able to offer product. You're able to just go on the website. So if you see a video from me, if it's in stock, you're able to go ahead and purchase it. And I like that. And it makes it better for the consumer. We're not sitting here waiting for these pre-orders and all that stuff. But the palette does retail for $56, okay? So they describe the sugar and spice palette as the perfect sweet everyday eyeshadow palette with a little bit of spice. I've been having fun. You're going to actually see me film this video over the course of time of going to work and following up with this third look today, okay? It says we created the perfect everyday palette with our unique flavor combinations with the aim to make it approachable for every skin tone and makeup preference. So I feel like that's pretty much true. There are a couple shades. I'm like, that's not quite for me, but a lot in the palette is for me, okay? says sugar and spice includes highly impactful dual chromes and multi-chromes combined with everyday wearable mattes set off with a unique combination of pastels that can be mixed into neutral mattes to create a more grungy cool or warm toned eye look an all-around palette that can spice up your eyeshadow looks or make them extra sweet so what you should know that the pans are magnetic so if you're somebody who likes to like make your own custom palettes don't worry they're magnetic high quality pu leather packaging shade names printed on the back of the pan so if you do take them out you know what palette they belong to and <laughs> what shades they are the palette is vegan and cruelty free there's a 20 more 24 month expiration, three dual chromes, three multi chromes, one sparkly shimmer, eight pigmented mattes. Yes, okay. And the ingredients are on the website if you're worrying, wondering about that. And like I said, it's very simple to order from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. You don't have to pay like the shipping is usually around $20, a little expensive, but it does come from Australia. Usually within two weeks time, you get the tracking information. Usually it lands in LA and then it, um, once it lands in LA, it usually just flips over and you can take that same tracking number, which I do, and put it into United States Post Office Service and it'll tell you, you know, when you'll get your palette. Now, this is the unicarton of the palette right here. 
beautiful as well. Very sleek on the back right here. And it does say that the palette was made in the PRC and they're cruelty free. Remember, if you are making palettes or the people are making palettes in the PRC, they still can be cruelty free as long as they're not selling in the PRC. PRC stands for the People's Republic of China. Now, I do have three looks for you. Of course, I'm going to talk about my thoughts in between the looks. I'm wearing this palette to work. So I'm actually going to be popping in and you're going to see what it looks like after I have spent a long day at the pharmacy. <sighs> okay, <laughs> and you'll see this look today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I got my rollers in my hair. I'm gonna take them out in a moment, but I'm on my way to work and I have primed my eyelids using my Pat McGrath Intensifies Long Wear Eyeshadow Primer. It dries down clear, which I've really been enjoying. And of course, my eyebrows are filled in using my Goof Poof Pencil, shade 3.75. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm back and here is the first look and I'm also like playing in my hair so you know I did my foam rollers these little joints I put them in my head right yesterday about six after I washed my hair it's now like one in the afternoon so I think this look came out fabulous I really wasn't prepared for this to be a multi-chrome because I did not swatch anything before but that is star and Elise and these two mattes they blended out like a dream oh my gosh they look so good they just perform excellently and then the shade nutmeg is just a perfect in the corner uh, highlight for those shades everything just worked together so well no complaints didn't use a glitter glue so I get off work at 10 o'clock tonight because I did not use a glitter glue I'm going to make an effort to come back onto the camera so we can see how this shade stayed because I did not expect it to have that particular texture usually I can kind of tell now you know I hadn't put my finger in it now if it looked like this Prior to me dipping my finger in, I was like, oh, maybe I need glitter glue. But when I put it on my finger, I was just like, well, let's just see how it applies. I'm committed. So let's see how long it lasts. For my face details, I went in with my Rare Beauty uh, foundation. This is the shade 430W. Took the matching concealer. Oh, I threw it right here. I'm almost finished with it. And this is in 420 Neutral. Took my Juvia's Place blush in the shade 10. It's a duo. Boom. Uh, just did a couple of coats of mascara. I used my Bad Girl Bang followed up by my Urban Decay Lash Freak. I really like this mascara, so I like both because this one really kind of helps separate my lashes. This one just kind of helps darken it up because my lashes are very fine. Went in with just regular eyeliner, my uh, Pat McGrath Perma Gel Liner in the shade uh, Extreme Black. Blush. Oh, used my Pat McGrath Hat Box Blush. I used the deeper shade right here and highlight I went ahead with my oldie but goodie this is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter this is a collab they have with Puma it's just a good peachy gold highlighter topped it off with my Fashion Fair lipstick in the shade Ganache no liner it's a nice moisturizing lippy all right y'all see you later all right I am back it is if you can see on my big old face of my watch, 11, 12 p.m., I'm back from work. And, you know, I did my makeup. I was finished about 1.15 because I have to be at work at 
2, 115, 120-ish. I had to be at work at 2. Um, <clears throat> it only takes 20 minutes to get to work. So remember how I was saying I wanted to come back and show you how this shade performed because I did not have a glitter glue that was Star Anise because I did not actually realize what type of texture the shade was. And I did once I swatched it on my finger. <laughs> I just see myself in my nose. And... I, you know, normally these type of multi-crones and it was beautiful. The whole look is beautiful. I would have put down a glitter glue. So we're not too terrible, but if I had a glitter glue where you see this little fold right here, it would have been more intact. But as you see on the lids, it actually still is okay. You know, I do have kind of like um, a hooded eye. So as you can see, this part kind of comes over so where the hood is just like close my eyes where the hood is is actually like okay but then like right in that area so the glitter glue definitely would have prevented that from happening um i do have some fading right in here right in here but nothing too crazy the mats are still looking good the rest of the face is still looking good considering i've been running around all day we got construction going on then the man he decides at four o'clock at like the busiest time yeah we're gonna redo the floors great wonderful does that make sense no. but the performance of the eyeshadows were great very impressed um, I'm pretty impressed with the longevity. The longevity is actually pretty good. And then, you know, I've been using my Pat McGrath Intensifies Eye Primer. And so far, this has been really good. I've used this with Glaminatrix. I've used this. Well, this is the Glaminatrix. So I've used it with this. I've used it with Pat McGrath, of course. Uh, Adept, I've used it a bunch of times because I've been really wearing my Adept palette, the Sumerian Sunset. I've used it with the Nomad and it's been good. I've used it with Glam Light. It's been great. Whatever eyeshadow formulas have I tested out lately? So yeah, that's what I've been wearing lately. And this primer, I'm really enjoying it because I also feel like it, you really get like true to color fashion with this primer. I really like this product. Okay, so I'll be back probably tomorrow before I go to work to do another look. And so far, so good. I am, I loved how this came out, honestly. And it was so pretty with that shift. I was here for it, yes. But, oh, these mattes, first of all, this little section on made me buy the palette. And I really like these two shades and this one. These three, like, I like them, but what really caught me was, like, this half on. I was like, ooh. All right. So, I will see you All tomorrow, right. y'all. It's the next day, and I'm back for another look. So, I think mm -hmm. I am going to play with the purple, mm -hmm. and hmm, we'll see what else. I'm very matchy-matchy. I have on a navy blue shirt and some navy blue pants, so... We need to break the monochromaticness up. Yeah, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you gonna do now but uh, we only got one chance and got one life to live and it's do or die gotta make it count so lose your worries let your problems go on until my whole body burns out i ain't never gonna slow down time on fake friends i just want to get high i just want to get high i just want to get higher sometimes people will try to hold you back from being who you want to don't be questioning why do whatever feels right find your passion and fight because we only got one chance and got one life to live and it's do or die gotta make it count so lose
All right, I am back and here is the second look and it's really beautiful. That purple blended out well, even though it was a pastel, it has pigment to it and it went on really nicely. And this blended in well and the black, oh my gosh. Like it wasn't, you know, it's a deep black, but you could control it. It blended out well, it didn't overpower the look and it gave it a little bit of depth and dimension to the look. I decided to layer the shimmers to give a little, you know, reflect to that purple shade. Not that it really needed, but just, you know, add a little extra to it. And it was sheer, but it still worked nice with the uh, purple shade that definitely has uh, more opacity. That is lavender. Uh, like I said, gumdrop was really pretty. And then even the vanilla shade, it popped on really nice. So this particular look, I did use some glitter glue. I am on the way to work. My face details are the same. Um, don't have any lips on, just some lip gloss at the moment. But I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like so you can see. So it is, ooh. okay, I got like a presentation going on on my phone at the same time. <laughs> but as you can see, it's 122. It's just a CE, a continuing education. I'm learning about hyperlipidemia, which is high cholesterol. <laughs> so, all right, I'll talk to you I'm guys back. Later. I almost forgot I said I was coming back on camera, but I'm back. It's, um, yes, yeah, 12.03 a.m. Mm -hmm. The next day. I didn't get home until after 11. You know, I did my toxic trade of having salsa water not too long before I go to bed. And then wonder why I have to go to the bathroom all night. It's a toxic trade. So here you can see, let's see. Can we get the real clock up? Can we get the phone to turn off? There we go. 12.03 the next day. And I was sitting there, I was like eating my little cereal. Because sometimes I eat cereal when I come in from work. When, when I'm trying to do better, just eat a little bit of cereal. So I have a little snack on my stomach before I go to bed. And I was just like, oh, I, I said I was going to tell him how it looked it. So this is how it looked it. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad, not too shabby. Mm, I see a little breakage right here, but not as bad as yesterday. That is, yeah. And I use glitter glow today. So definitely not as bad, not as noticeable. It could be because the shade is a little bit lighter, but everything's good. Look, look, even the face makeup is still makeup in. Mm. Can't tell me nothing about no Laura Urban Decay setting spray. It will hold you together, hold you in place. All right. So this is what the look is looking like. It did not fade on the outer V. Just, so just regular fading right in here, but the inner corners still stay together. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll be back with look number three. I'll see you later. All right, I'm back. I don't know how many days later. <laughs> But I'm back, okay? My eyelids are primed using the same primer, which is the Pat McGrath primer that intensifies, I, what is this, child? The intensifies long wear eye primer. It dries down clear, which I've noted. Um, my eyebrows are filled in using my Groove Poof pencil in shade 3.75. Let's get rocking with the third look.
am back and I was like, oh, it looks like the lights weren't on back there, but well, they are. They're on the low. All right, I am back and here is the third and final look. And when I was off camera, I decided <laughs> to put a little basil on top of here just to give it a little extra something something. Not that the shade needed anything extra, but I just decided why not okay so very pretty look I love how the gold goes with the gray and the brown so we got a kind of like warm gold and it's a little cooler with the green flip with the cool tone mattes I, I really like it now here's the problem when it comes to multichromes okay now multichromes are beautiful but this is the problem okay you have these two shades right here Oh, they look so different in the pan. Yes, yes, yes. We see the flips. But when you put them next to each other, it just looks like one big old shade. So you don't get the definition of color. So here it was the shade. We had fennel. Really pretty. And I don't even know why I was shocked with these, these shimmers. Because, you know, I fool with Glaminatrix Heavy. This is vanilla. So that, that, that's the problem. That's the problem. They look alike. So when I put it on the inner corner, it was like, well, you might as well just keep putting fennel there because it's like the same shade. And that happens in so many palettes. So that is one thing like you kind of have to be careful with with multichromes, just like the placement of your colors because otherwise you get the same color. Maybe a little different finish. Maybe a slightly different flip. Not too much here though. <laughs> so... Let's talk about the palette. I really like this palette. I think it's really pretty. It's very fall. It's very fall, spring. Kind of everything around palette into the winter. Now, I was just talking about this in a previous video. Um, the ash factor <laughs> with this, this. I did not try this, okay? So let's be fair. This it goes on as a nice like base shade on my particular collect, uh, complexion. And then I did not try meringue and I did not try mint. I feel like mint would be pretty okay. And this purple was, it came to play. Okay, I was really impressed with it. Whew, okay, sorry. Allergies are still kind of kicking my butt here. So the thing about it with some of these pastel, pastel shades on my skin complexion can read like ash, okay? It's just, it is what it is. It's no shade. It's just, it is what it is, okay? Now, but Sticky Date, oh, I love this gray shade. And this brown shade, Brownie, I love it. And I'm not really a big brown eyeshadow type of chick, but I love it. And the licorice, the black, is really nice also because it's not overpowering, but it gives what, I don't want to say gives what needs to be done, but it does do that. <laughs> but it gives just a hint of black. It's able to smoke out the look without overpowering the look. You can go in, get the depth, the deepness that you want without like, oh gosh, I have a whole smoky eye now. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's really great. The shimmers are beautiful. There's only one shimmer that I did not use, which was the shade Mustard. Definitely more textured right here. So, oh, I wiped off the other shades, but... Yeah, it's very goldy too. So it's very interesting now that I look at it that we have these three type of gold shades in the palette. So now that I look at that, that kind of does knock it down for me because, I mean, we don't need all three because definitely vanilla, you definitely have to be careful with the placement of vanilla. Okay, so that's a lot. It's a difference. There's a difference. That's fennel. I'm going to put vanilla on the opposite side so you can see what it looks like. So it's still, I think one could have gone. Vanilla, I think, could have been more vanilla, like more white base. And I think it would have been okay. Very beautiful shades. The formulas are really nice. Even with the one with the sticky, which is mustard. So um, Star and Star Anise, that really took me. I was like, oh, that is beautiful. I mean, it's kind of a shade that we have seen before, let's be honest. I mean, we have and we haven't. It's more magenta for sure versus pink green flip. But if we're being critical, I'm not trying to be overcritical, but you know, 
it is what it is. When you have so many eyeshadows, it's like, but overall the performance, I really, really like the palette. I think it's really beautiful. It's curated and it just kind of gives you something for different. I feel like I don't have a color story that's quite like this, where it's smoky and pastel at the same time. And this shade is beautiful as well. So I just really enjoyed the color combinations I was able to create with this palette. The shimmers are very, very gorgeous. Lay on your eyes effortlessly. I think we can both tell, or we can all can tell, when I wore those looks to work, like that first look that I did with Star Anise, it's like, yeah, we need a little glitter glue. That definitely helped the cause. <laughs> and the next go around, I definitely went in with the glitter glue. So let me know what your favorite look is. I really like this look, but man, the purple, that one I wore the other day to work. That was that was a good look. I really enjoyed that. And I, I enjoyed all three of them, actually, to be honest. So let me know if you're checking for this palette, if you thought about this palette at all. I am a big Glam of Nature's fan. Like the color stories to me, the uniqueness, the texture, the shadows, the, the texture of the multi-chromes. Like they just went me over. And I love how they have the sleek design of this palette right here. Got my little fingerprints all on it. <laughs> so, but it's really, really pretty. So I feel like it gives neutral, but it gives a little pop of something like pizzazz. It's not like, oh, it's just super neutral. Like I can't get any type of pop out of it. But let me know how you guys like it. Let me know what your favorite look was. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video. And that will be soon. And subscribe to my channel because you know I love to have you here in my little makeup family. With all of that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chair dance. Chair dance. Ay, 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 chair dance. Ooh, ooh, chair dance. Ay, ay, chair dance. Ooh. All right, y'all. Bye.